guys what is up this is going to be the final video of this plast android tutorial series so what are we going to see in this video is we're going to deploy the flash server in the internet so we're going to use a tool called python anywhere dot com so we're going to use this to deploy our flask server for free so let's just go to python anywhere dot com just log in sign up and then once you're done with that you'll be greeted with this home page so from this let's go to console and let's go to bash console so you'll be seeing this black screen so we need to make a new environment for our deployed flask server because you're going to install all the modules like wikipedia flask so it, it needs a separate environment so there's no confusion so let's make a new environment mk virtual environment and let's name the environment flask environment and then give the python version with dash dash python equals slash user slash pin slash python 3.8 so it's going to take some time to create the environment install pip wheel and setup tools so now we see that the environment is successfully created so now let's go and install flask and wikipedia in this environment so we install flask by saying pip install flask then install wikipedia after this installation is done so now we say pip install wikipedia so it's going to take some time to install these modules so once we are done with that we can go make our web app so before that we'll test our wikipedia module if it's successfully installed let's go to a python console say import wikipedia and then say wikipedia dot uh, summary of let's say inception so we get the entire summary so our wikipedia is up and running so now let's go back to web so if you click on your web here you have an option to create a new web app so click on that click on next and click on flask when it asks you for the python web framework so and give the latest python version and click on next so it's going to deploy a flask server for you but this flask server has a default source code that means that it doesn't have the source code that we need so let's just go to stolenchips.pythonanyway.com it just says hello from flask that's the only thing it does so now let's go and add some okay i need to go back so where is the yeah so now let's go to the source code so you can see go to directory here click on flask app. but before that we'll enter uh, enter our environment here so you can see the virtual environment section just click on environment and just type en of uh, flask environment that was our environment so yeah so we have added our virtual environment now let's just go to the source code click on flask app and now we copy the entire code but we don't copy the deployment stuff so we don't copy this stuff because python anywhere.com is doing that for us it's going to deploy this flask code so you don't have to give that code it already has its backend to do that so we just need to give this code so just paste it save it now you run it once that is done you can just refresh the 
preload the stolen chips dot python and away dot com so once you're done with that you just see hello on here so let's try running slash one hello one slash two hello two now if you go for wiki search so it's a post method so it's not allowed in google chrome so now let's go back and run this app that we don't we, we have to change one thing in the android app we'll have to give stolen chips dot python anyway dot com this one instead of our flask ip address so let's just go to main activity and then give this here so this is going to be a url so now let's click on play so let it install now let's try searching something on wikipedia Okay, so there are two HTTP in our URL. So just refresh it. So let's search for Wikipedia. So there you go. Wikipedia is right there. You can search for something else. Let's just search for Christopher Nolan. Nolan. Christopher Nolan. There you go. So let's search for cricket. So yeah, there you go. So we have our Wikipedia search app with the Flask server that's deployed on the internet. So you don't need to be on this internet. You can be on any network, anywhere in the world, to have this app running. So you don't have any issues. So that was it, guys. So what I wanted to tell. through this tutorial is you could have a flash server do python things for you in your android app so there are so many things that the java code doesn't do so there are so many modules hundreds of modules that python has and java doesn't have you can take ddw you can take anything for that matter so there's so many modules that are available in the python so you can make use of that by using this flash server code So there's also an alternative where you can make use of Django, but Django is slightly higher level in terms of syntax. Flask is really very very simple. So it's just like five lines of code and your server is set up. So that was it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the series. Uh, subscribe. Peace.